Hi everybody, I'm Wayne McDonald. Welcome to New Life's Inner Circle. Today actually will be my last broadcast for the Inner Circle. The Holy Spirit has instructed my wife Laura and I to get behind a, a pastor uh, about 30 minutes north of New Life Church, where we've presently been for a long, long time, over 20-some years. Um, it's been bittersweet. Uh, the people yesterday, you guys just showed us so much love and uh, honored us. We're just so appreciative of every one of you. We love you. We'll miss you. And uh, we know this is a new season for us that we're stepping into to take the things that we have learned there at New Life and the gifts, the talents the Lord has deposited in us, the anointings, and take them to another people. And we're excited about that, but we're sad to leave you all at the same time. But we will come back and visit, and we will not lose the connection that we all have with you. Thank you so much for your love and all the honor that you showed us yesterday. I just want to recap uh, what I preached yesterday. Pastor actually gave me the opportunity to be able to pour into you one last time there in the pulpit before we left. Um, and I just want to recap it. I talked about the power of one over in Luke chapter number 10, where what we refer to a lot of times is the Good Samaritan, how he took time, he took his finances, he took his ability that he was given, and he helped somebody that was in a terrible situation, that was beaten and was left for dead, and he poured into that man the oil and the wine, and that is the effect of the power of one, one person that didn't have unlimited resources, but he just took what he had, the little that he had, and he helped somebody. And if we'll just do that one person at a time, you can touch a lot of lives in your lifetime. So the first point was, do for the one like you would like to do for all the rest. Maybe you can't help everybody. Most of us can't. But you can help the one. Do for the one like you would like to do for all the rest. And then the second thing I talked about was the power of mentoring somebody. Picking just one person, maybe a family member, might be your children, might be a co-worker, somebody that wants help. And you pour your life into them. Your gifts, your talent, your finances, your time. You pour into them and really mentor them, teach them how to get the breakthrough in whatever area it is that they need that breakthrough in. So I just wanted to take just a few moments just to sort of just recap um, what I shared yesterday. And one of the third things I talked about was being laser focused. I want you to be productive. I want you to fulfill the purpose and plan of God for your life. You have to become laser focused. There's so many distractions I talked about when your cell phone, for instance, goes off with a text or some type of reminder because of one of the flat platforms that you're associated with and it reminds you of something, some type of reminder. On average, it takes someone that is distracted 10 to 15 minutes to get back to what they were doing. So you're sitting in your office and you receive a text or someone walks in and has a question for you or a phone call. Whatever you were doing, it's going to take you on average 10 to 15 minutes to get back to focusing and getting really into that rhythm and that stride that you had. That's a lot of wasted time we get because of distractions. And that's one of the reasons why we don't accomplish the things that are in our heart is because of the distractions that are around. Now, one of the things that I wanted to get to yesterday, but I, I ran out of time. There's just so much. There's only so much time and you can only cover so much. I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to cover that for just a few moments today, how you have to really choose your battles. There's a lot of things that go on these days, especially where, especially where social media is concerned, that can draw us right into the battle. People say things and do things. I've had in the last year so many people make rude, uh, downright, sometimes just evil comments. Um, and they don't know me. They don't know my heart. And I'm fine with what anyone wants to say or think. That That's fine. I'm okay with that. I mean, <laughs> look what they did to Jesus. Uh, and that's the Son of God. So I don't, I'm not naive and think that I'm going to live this life and not have anyone ever criticize me or uh, make evil, wicked comments. And they don't know my heart. And the, at the bottom, the bottom line, at the end of the day, when you know you're in right standing with the Father and you're doing what He has for you to be doing, that stuff will roll right off of you. But you have to be intentional about it. 
be very cautious what uh, type of battles you get engaged in. Count the cost. Because if you get involved in too many of those battles, you won't have time to accomplish the things that the Father has for you. If I was to respond to every negative comment uh, and gesture that someone makes over social media or even just in life, I wouldn't have time to accomplish the purpose and plan of God for my life. I would be too busy responding to them, too busy caught up in the battle. And I want you to really think about, count the cost when someone does something to you that hurts. I want you to really think about, do I need to respond to them? What's it going to uh, cost me? And there are times when you have to deal with issues. You have to deal with conflict. I'm not saying you hide from it. But what I am saying is you be, be choosy, be very wise on what battles you do engage in. Okay, and then the last thing I talked about is... I think we underestimate the power of one. The power of one person can make a difference. Think of someone like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What would the world be like without Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? What would the world be like without Abraham Lincoln? These are men that touched and changed the face of the earth. These were people that were lovers of God. You make a difference. Your life makes all the difference in the world. You are important to your Heavenly Father. You have a specific role and a specific purpose to carry out while you're on this earth. So, do for the one like you want to do for all the others. Do for the one like you wish you could do for all the others. Focus on the one. Become a mentor to someone. Become laser beam focused. Don't get pulled into wars and commotion and affairs with other people um, that are trying to pull you in because of their nasty and rude words. Count the cost. Don't just get pulled into every battle and every single affair that comes down the pike to try to sidetrack you, to get you engaged so you start fighting. It'll steal your time. And don't under underestimate the, the gifts, the talents, the anointings that the Lord has put in you. Cultivate them develop a daily routine for growth where you're reading the Word of God, seeking the Lord, and He's going to take you places that you've only dreamed. Stay the course, stay focused, and He's going to use you in a mighty way. Well, it's been such a pleasure to serve you all. Um, it's bittersweet, a new season we've entered into, um, but we love you all. We'll come back and visit, and make sure you keep your eyes on Jesus, stay in the Word, love people unconditionally, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.